first rule is to keep an untroubled spirit. The second is to look things in the face and know them for what they are. somebody Tell her you just have to come come pick them up. And that's how we end up with it. Yeah, what up here? All right, what up here? What up here? All right, Mr. What up here, brother? What up here? All right, get deaf. All up here, I'm putting face in this. You come ask me, boy. All up here, all right, move your hand. When the business, where are they? I'm coming to you. What are going, people? Welcome again to Chop Chop Pre TV. I must apologize for this late um, upload. I was trying my utmost best not to bombard you with another video after I have posted the video with the incident that manifests itself at Oberlin, Oberlin High School. In St. Andrew. So I just wanted that to, to rest and to be settled on the minds of those who were pretty concerned before I throw something else on the channel because I'm not one who really rush for views and clout. I'm rather one who tries to establish education, entertainment or entertainment or edification, whatsoever that is positive. That's what I'm about. So in this video that I am now bringing to your attention, police apprehend men who claim to be honest, law-abiding citizens and not thieves as they are told. So police in Jamaica have described Lotus Kamin as a multi-million dollar illegal operation that has deprived thousands of people across the world of their earnings and has also resulted in multiple deaths across the island. It is so true. But it appears some members of the criminal underworld are living in denial and do not believe the underground trade is a form of stealing. Evidence of this was seen in the video circulating on social media in which a group of men held by the police was heard telling law enforcement officers that they were not thieves but instead lot of scammers. One of the accused robbers was heard asking one of the angry residents to not capture his face on camera because he didn't want to lose his 9 to 5 job. The comments have left social media users raising their eyebrows. These men really giving new meaning to the term false sense of reality, said one social media user. The man say he is no thief. Rather, he is a scammer. A fully dunce was a person. This individual would fit that persona well. It is written, You must not steal. And I'll end it right here. Thank you again for your viewing. Your support is appreciated. I extend my gratitude for that. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscription, your comments, and your downloads. Bless upon yourself and go on, stay strong.